Hey students, I'm going to try to teach you here today um, how to measure an angle using a protractor. I have dropped this file into your class notebook so that you can have a movable protractor as well. So as we are trying to me measure angles, the first thing we're going to do is try to classify the angle as to what type of angle it is. So looking at this specific angle, if I were to draw in um, a right angle. So I know a right angle is 90 degrees. It's like the corner of a book, the corner of a piece of paper, the corner of a sticky note. So if I were to draw an imaginary line in here, or I'll actually put the line in here, to make this a right angle for you, it would look like what you see on the page, page there. So I know now, look, looking at this angle indicator, which is this little line that goes, it's like a half circle from the bottom array, an array is the line with the arrow on it, to the left array, I can see that that goes beyond that blue arrow. So that tells me that this angle is bigger than 90 degrees. So therefore I know it is an obtuse angle. So I know with an obtuse angle, this angle is going to measure more than 90 degrees. So on my protractor, um, every protractor has a little area um, at the bottom and the middle that is like the vertex or the center of the angle. That is where you're going to place the protractor on this particular angle. You're going to put that right on the middle of the angle. Just like you're seeing me do right there. And then the bottom array or the bottom line with the arrow on it should be um, sitting right on the bottom horizontal line that goes through zero on your protractor. As you can see, mine is there. Once I have placed my protractor where it belongs, because this arrow or this um, angle opens up to the right, so it's open to the right, then I'm gonna start at the zero on the right side of the protractor. And I'm gonna start counting up until I get to the angle that I'm wanting to measure, which is that angle there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here at the zero, and I'm gonna start counting up. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and now this line goes right through 120. Oops, I moved my projector, sorry about that. Put that back there, there we go. So it goes right through 120. So this angle, this obtuse angle measures 120 degrees. Please don't say that it measures 60 degrees, which is above the 120 degrees. That is not correct. We start at zero, like we did over here on the open side, and we count up to 120. So this angle measures 120 degrees. If I wanted to judge that as well using a piece of paper, I would put a piece of paper, the corner of a piece of paper in this right angle. And I could say, all right, Mrs. Jard knows that a corner of a piece of paper is 90 degrees, so I know this angle is more than 90 degrees. And that kind of helps you with estimating what type of an angle it is.